I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to integrate rational functions whose denominator cannot be factored. So we have learned the technique of partial fractions. This technique cannot be applied if you cannot factor the denominator. The denominator here is 4x squared minus 4x plus 3. Now if you apply the quadratic equation formula to factor this, you'll realize that what you get here is that x is equal to minus of 4, which is 4, plus minus square root of b square, which is minus 4 square, minus 4 times ac, which is 4 times 3, right? Divided by 2 times a, which is 4. Now solving it further, what you realize is that within the square root, we get a term which is this square is 16 and this is 16 times 3, 48, right? So what we get here is, is a negative term. Now since this term here is negative within the square root, the roots are not real. Do you see that? Now b squared minus 4 is c you could have done earlier also. So what you realize here is that b squared minus 4 ac is actually less than 0, right? So no real roots. Now if that is the case, you cannot factor the denominator so no partial fractions and that technique which you've learned cannot be applied in this case what to do next now, that's a big question the method here is to do completing the squares so now at this stage we complete squares and let's see how and then we will substitute and then solve this integral that's the that's the technique so let's work with the denominator again and complete squares. So what we have here is 4x squared minus 4x. Let me rewrite. So we have 4x squared minus 4x plus 3. So we can take 4 common. And what we get after taking 4 common is x squared uh, minus 1 plus 3 so so now we have to do half of this correct so so we have 4 times x square minus 1 plus half square minus half square that is the technique right you do half of this number add and subtract it square right and then these three terms form a perfect square so you get 4 times uh, x minus half whole square and this gives you minus 4 times let's open the bracket 4 times 1 over 4 plus 3 is that okay now that is what you get in completing the squares and now you could write this as 2x minus 1 it's always better to write in that form let me write like this 2x minus 1 divide by 2, right? Whole square. And this gives you 4 and 4 cancels, right? So you have minus 1 plus 3, which gives you plus 2. Correct. So in a way, I could actually, when I square this, you get here 4, right? So when you multiply this by 4, that cancels off. So you get 2x minus 1 whole square plus 2 right there is that okay so this is what you get so so i could write this expression as equal to 2x minus 1 whole square plus 2. so that is the completing the square so you kind of get uh, the vertex form of the quadratic equation uh, now let us see how to move forward from here so the denominator has been written in this particular form. Now what can we do? 
the question now could be written as, let me rewrite this question first, and then we'll move forward on this side. So, so we could write this integral question as x minus 1 divided by, so we completed the square and then said this quadratic equation could be written as 2x minus 1 whole square plus 2, right? You could actually expand this and check 4x square, you get the first term, minus 2 times this, that is 4x, you get the second term, square of 1 is 1 and plus 2 is 3, so that's perfect, right? So you could actually, once you've done all this, you can check, are we working with the same equation? So this is exactly the same equation. So you land up with this. Now, how do we factor this one? Well, to factor this, we need to adopt a substitution method, right? So at this stage, we should do substitution. So it becomes kind of tricky when you have such a condition where you cannot really factor the denominator, right? Uh, so substitution should be 2x minus 1, let that be equals to u, right? So 2x minus 1 is u, so du will be equals to 2dx, perfect? This is one part. And what else you realize? You have to substitute x minus 1 also. x is what for you? So x is what for you? So we want to substitute x minus 1. Let's see what is x minus 1 for us, correct? So we'll rearrange this equation to find what is uh, x for us first. Let's do x. Okay, so this also implies that if I take 1 to this side, then we can write 2x is equals to u plus 1 or x is equals to half of u plus 1, right? u plus 1 divided by 2 or like this, anyway you could write, right? Half of u plus 1. Now that helps us to do the substitution right there, right? So, so we'll substitute this and then we could write our integral as instead of x minus 1, we will write this. Now let me also write down what is x minus 1. Let's work it out, okay? So we'll also work it out since we need x minus 1. x minus 1 will be equals to u over 2 plus half minus half. Is that okay? That is x minus 1. x is all this, so it'll take away 1 also. And what we get here is u over 2 minus half. Is that okay? So that is what you get. Or you could say this is equals to half of u minus 1. Is that okay? So half of u minus 1. So x minus 1 is half of u minus 1. Is that correct? So we'll replace x minus 1 by half of this, right? Let's do the substitution. So what we're doing here is, instead of x minus 1, I'm writing here half of u minus 1. The denominator becomes 2x minus 1 is u, so it becomes u squared plus 2. And dx is half of du. So instead of dx, I will write this as half of du. Does it make sense? Right. So from here, we could say dx is du by 2. Less space, so I just made half of du. Perfect. Got it. So now we can take this half and that half as outside. These are uh, constants. So we could write this as 1 over 4, right? Integral of u minus 1 over u squared plus 2 du. Right? This is very important to understand. Is that correct? So we took this half outside, that half outside. So we are working with fractions at times students do get confused. But anyway, I think the step is clear. Okay, now this particular equation we could write this as uh, one fourth of integral of u over u square plus 2du, right? And also minus one fourth of integral of 1 over u square plus 2d, right? So we could split this applying the properties of integrals, right? So, so you get this part. 
the first part could be done by again substituting right so and the second part we can use the formula direct formula from our tables which is tan inverse right so this could be done with tan inverse but this part I need to substitute and then do right so so that is how it should be done so what we will do here is will substitute u square plus 2 as some other variable. So let me change thing. So we will do this part first. I'll put 1 over 4 later. Okay. So we are doing integral of u over u square plus 2 du. So in this particular case, we could substitute u square plus 2 as w. So what you get here is 2u, right? So 2u du equals to dw is that okay so to you so u du will be half of dw correct okay so let me write down u times du will be half of dw is that okay okay so so this could be this portion now could be written as and the denominator is w right so we could write this expression right there as equal to Okay, let me, let me do it here. Okay, so integral of, so instead of u d u, I'm writing half. So it is half dw, right? Divided by u square plus 2 is w. Perfect. So that is what it is. And the integral for this half is a constant, right? So you could take it out of this integral sign. 1 over w will give you ln w absolute value plus c so that is what you get so we'll replace this by this correct okay now the other one is direct application of the formula let me give you the formula also here right so so we are using the formula dx over let's say we have x square plus a square that formula is 1 over a tan inverse of x over a right so it should be a square in our case it is 2 that means square root 2 square right okay so using these two results we could actually continue from here now so we have 1 over 4 and integral of this we just calculated this as half of ln and what is w w is u square plus 2 right so w is u square plus 2 so we'll write this in u square plus 2. Now the u square plus 2 is always positive so absolute value we could take that off minus uh, 1 fourth applying this formula. So 1 over a, a square root of 2 right so so 1 over square root of 2 tan inverse u over square root 2 plus do you see that? That is the result which you get at this stage. Now we'll substitute back what u was. So I hope you remember what u was. Here it is. u was 2x minus 1. So we'll get back to all these substitution to write our result. So 1 over 4 times this is 1 over 8 ln. Since this value is always positive, always positive, right? So we could now write this as uh, u as 2x minus 1 whole square, right? So u is 2x minus 1 whole square. So we'll write this as, okay, uh, because that is squared. So we have to expand that also. Anyway, I'll leave it like this. So we'll have 2x minus 1 whole square plus 2. Is it okay? That is u minus 1 over 4 square root 2 tan inverse now again u is 2x minus 1 so we have 2x minus 1 over square root 2 plus c do you get it right so so that is what we get and it can be further simplified by expanding this right so 2x minus 1 plus 2 2x minus 1 whole square plus 2 is actually this denominator right so so we could write this as 1 over 8 ln and we'll write this denominator as 4x square minus 4x plus 3, correct? Minus 1 over 4 square root 2 
tan inverse 2x minus 1 square root 2 plus c. Okay, that's great. So I've just managed to complete the solution in the space and that was the idea. You will realize that in my examples, I've only taken small parts which explain you the concept, right? So, so in these set of six videos which we worked on, we had examples starting with numerator degree higher than denominator. So you need to divide them to get the answer. If it is same degree, then also you have to uh, divide to get the answer. And if the degree of denominator is higher, it is a proper rational function that could be solved directly using partial fractions. And if you cannot, if you cannot, factor the denominator as the case is, here is. In that case, we may do completing the squares and substitution and then apply this formula. Correct. So these are a few techniques which we have learned in rational function. I hope that helps. You can now practice some questions from your book. If there is a difficulty, feel free to post the questions. I'll be glad to answer them. And if you like, you can put some likes, share and subscribe. Thank you. And all the best.